Yep. So uh, this is for the benefit of anybody who's doing any phone shopping. Um, I had an LG G4 that died on me. Uh, well, it wasn't working very well and the battery seemed to last for 30 seconds before needing recharging. Uh, and so I was in the market and I did a lot of research, narrowed it down to two phones. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the one I didn't pick because it's quite interesting. Uh, there's something called the Essential Phone that was made by a company called Essential, started by Andy Rubin, the founder of uh, Android. Uh, it's a very, very interesting phone. It has a ceramic back. It looks ultra cool. Uh, before the Apple X did its little cutout from the top of the screen, the Essential Phone has just a tiny little cutout for the phone, and it's far less intrusive than the one on the iPhone. Uh, it's got a fast processor, however, uh, the screen isn't particularly good, the camera is even worse, and I have real considerations about longevity. Two years from now, if the company is either still around or decides they want to come out with the Essential Phone version 2, and everyone who had their beta hardware is now out in the cold. So I had serious considerations about that, and so instead, I uh, drank the Kool-Aid and bought the uh, OnePlus 5T on the day that it came out. And so that is this, if anybody wants to look at it. Uh, it is essentially, I think, probably one of the best phones that are out there now. I have a friend that has a, a Pixel uh, 2, and I, I don't think I would change anything about this. The one neatest thing that this will support is one of these, in that it still has a headphone jack on it which actually matters to me. Uh, a number of the more current phones, including the Essential Phone, including the Pixels, do not have uh, headphone jacks anymore, and I use mine routinely. Uh, I don't, I've had my go with Bluetooth headphones and don't like them, but anyway. Uh, the processor on this is really fast. Um, it, uh, well, the, anything released now has got the, I think, the 635 or the current version of the Snapdragon. Uh, they're all about the same speed. They're all really fast. This blows away my LG G4. It comes with 8 gig of memory, and what's really nice is if, you've, uh, if, if you're running a lot of apps at once, you've got a lot of things open at once, it doesn't have to shut things down quite as quickly because it's got a lot of RAM to work with. Uh, the, nicest, the nicest thing to me is the way this thing charges, is I can essentially get a day's worth of juice on this in a half hour charge. So this thing is using a proprietary charging format, it's not using the Qualcomm Quick Charge, it uses its own proprietary thing, it has these god awful looking bright red cables, so no matter where you are, people know you have this phone, I guess that's part of what they... Sorry? That's, that's what people say when you have that cable. Comments? Can yes. Anyway, and yes, so it's very recognizable because both the charger and the cable are proprietary. If you use a regular USB-C cable with this, it will not charge high speed. If you use a regular USB 3 charger, it will not charge high speed. This particular combination is what you need. And unfortunately, they only sell this length of cable. However, I just, as an experiment, got a high quality USB extension cord, and that does work when put in between these two parts. So if you need a longer cable, you can't get a longer version of this, but it will work with an extension cord. So that was very useful for me. Anyway, so, uh, the software is a very minimal version of Android called Oxygen. They don't put a lot of bloat on it. It's got a couple of neat things like a nighttime reading mode. And um, that's about it. So I've had it for, I've had it since Black Friday. I'm really, really happy with it. And uh, that's about it. It's about, it's, it's like 300 bucks less right now than the Samsungs or Pixels. And I see absolutely no reason why those things are worth that much more money. I'll leave it at that. What? Okay. So, any questions? Any anything about this? Where do you carry it around? Sorry. Carry it in your pocket. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I I tend to I tend to abuse phones. When I bought it, uh, it's not sold in stores, right? So it's only available online. My first experience when I was looking at it is they were selling by invite only, and I couldn't stand that. They're trying to do everything to build hype communities and 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 get fans as rabid as apples, and it, it, that part of the company I'm not so crazy about. Uh, it shares uh, it shares this technology and some others with a company called Oppo that normally sells internally into the Chinese market. But if you find like one of these on sale at Alibaba or whatever, it's like half the price for the OEM. Somebody diverted a truck away from the factory or something like that. And so it is possible to get off market, but generally you can't walk into a Rogers, Telus or whatever store. So it's a really good match. I use public mobile that doesn't sell phones and it's a really good match for that. Um, yeah. Are you aware of the uh, security issues they've had recently? Yes. So there was a report. Uh, OnePlus is a Chinese company. Uh, there was a report that the uh, phones have been reported to phone home. And so this was brought up not with this phone but with the predecessor. But my guess is that the software would be very simple, similar. Uh, the company has promised to either already fix it or fix or to fix it. This phone has had two ROM updates since I bought it. They fixed it in the last update. Okay, thank you. My guess is that the same person that was able to find it phoning home will continue to test it after they've applied the update. So, or maybe they figured another way for it to phone home, but whatever. Uh, so that, yeah, that was a reported issue, and they say they fixed it. Uh, there are a couple, there's some weirdness. They, it's got two lenses, but instead of one being regular and one being telephoto, they're both the same focal length and one is used to do low light. I've had, I've tried it a couple of times. It works really well in concert uh, circumstances. And the, uh, it, it's not, it uses electronic Im image stabilization on video. I've tried it a couple of times and you can walk with it and it's actually not bad shooting. Okay, um, one other thing for a future, for a future session, if anybody is interested, uh, at work I've been using an open source Slack clone called Mattermost. And Slack is a really, really overhyped popular chat system uh, that has a couple of very interesting things, notably hooks to other systems like Google Drive and so on. Uh, if anybody's interested, I can talk in the future about Mattermost, which is a self-hosted open source version of that. And uh, uh, it's, it's served us really well, and I can't see anyone wanting to pay for use of Slack if that kind of thing is available. Mattermost or Matterhost? Mattermost, one word. <coughs> and lastly, uh, myself and a couple of people at LPI are looking to do a podcast, and we're looking for some people that are interested in being co-hosts. So if any of you are interested, uh, even as an occasional guest host, uh, please let me know. We're trying to put something together. Uh, I've looked at the state of Linux podcasts right now, and if you're not into kernel internals, they're not extremely helpful. Uh, you've got regular Linux press that's sort of on its knees. I don't know if you heard Linux Journal just shut down totally. Uh, and uh, so if, if anybody is looking to do uh, get involved in a podcast on some of the higher issues regarding open source, uh, let me know afterwards. And that's it.